the Rocketeer from Black Box Toys, that's what we are going to unbox and review today. Hope everything is going well with you. If you are not subscribed yet, please remember to do so. Here is the art box that our Rocketeer comes with. In the front you got him holding his helmet with a pistol in hand and in the back with other nice bows. Once you open the box you will find everything in two layers. One layer with our figure, the helmet, a pistol and a pistol holster and with other layer where we got his jacket that seems it's made of leather. We got his rocket pack, extra hands and the chest strap as well. Let's take everything out and check them in the light box. Here we have all the accessories that come with our rocket here and we are just taking a closer look here in the hands. Well painted with good detail and you got as well gloved hand options. The hands are made of a good material, you will not have any problem to use them. Then we got of course his pistol with a good weathering and paint application, no any problem. We got then our rocket pack as well that I like very much the way they did it. And then you got here the piece that you will assemble then into the fire diorama. You got these two small parts that are quite fragile, take care. And then here is how you will attach to his jacket. The pistol holster as well, that unfortunately is made of a very thin pleather, but it looks okay. Then we got here this front part of his jacket. This will be a trouble because you will need to insert each button on those tiny holes. I'm sure it will take us a lot of time. But anyway, this is, comes in a material that is very similar to leather. It's not pleather, doesn't seem so. It has the same feeling of leather. I think it's quite durable and not as thin as pleather. Then you got the zipper. It's quite tight but works quite well. Inside the coat have a very nice material. Overall for the jacket, I think it looks quite okay. And once all assembled, I think it will look great. Then you got here this chest strap with some attachments that then you will need to close on his front and in the back that's where you will assemble the rocket pack. It's quite easy to assemble. This is a, a kind of accessory already known in 1.6 scale. Normally they use this for shirts. You just need to apply a bit of strength and it will stay secure and in place. You will not have any problem playing with the rocket pack, it stay very well secure. The helmet is honestly the accessory that I don't like as much because the painting application is a bit rough as you can see, at least in the one I receive, maybe yours will be much better. This is how the figure comes just out of the box with his white shirt, which the quality is really not the best, but anyway we will not use him with a shirt, we will use it with a jacket and so on. But anyway, just to tell you that the shirt is really not the best quality. Here it is how it looks like with a jacket on. It's quite a tight fit. You just need to adjust a bit the shirt, the collar. But I think the jacket looks great. The fit is really tight, restricts a bit the movement. But I don't think you will have big problems with it. Then of course you got this vest with these straps in the front that you need to attach and then in the back as we talked early you got the part where you, where you will attach the rocket pack is coming quite nice we just need now to assemble the front part here it is with the front part assembled and honestly let me tell you that this was really hard work you need to fit every button inside those tiny holes and there was one missing i cannot fit that one i may need to make a cut on that part but I will check about that later. But with everything installed I think it looks quite ok. Please take care with those small pieces here in the rocket pack, they are very easy to fall off so pay attention to it. But overall I think as it is it looks amazing. I already assembled uh, the pistol and the belt as well, they look quite ok. A bit large but I think it looks ok. I don't have a big problem with that, you can adjust it later. As for the outfit, you got of course these cargo pants. The cargo pants are a bit large, with the pockets in the back and in the front as well. And then of course you got these boots. The boots are dark brown, the laces are too long for in my opinion, I don't need such long laces, I may trim them over later. But anyway, the figure looks ok, we just need now to insert the helmet on and see how it looks like. 
As for our figurehead sculpt, uh, I'm honest to tell you, I don't remember well the movie. This movie, I think, is from 1991. I went to search for some photos. I think I can see some likeness here, especially in the eyes. The eyes look quite okay. The hair is very well done, very well painted. The head sculpt, work-wise, I think is very, very well done. But for the likeness, I cannot say is 100%. It resembles the actor, but I cannot say it's 100% because I saw the movie, but it has been a long, long time. Let me know in the comments what you think about this head sculpt. As for the articulation, I don't think you will have any problem with it. It's quite okay. The head can rotate as much as you want. Just take it easy, don't push too much. Then the arms, the elbows, of course, are a bit restricted because of the leather jacket and those front parts, but anyway, I think you have enough articulation for any pose that you want to do. The arm can rotate, you will not have any problem with that. Then the torso, of course, you should not push it much, because you have the rocket pack in the back, but you can go as far as this. Then for the legs, you got, of course, double jointed knees, you will not have any problem with the legs, the knees are double jointed and work quite well. Then the boots, even they are just one piece, they are quite malleable, you will not have problem to move the feet for any pose that you want to do. If you got a deluxe version, you will got this remote control together with the fire diorama, which I think looks very good. Having the remote control eliminate any cables and this way looks much more clean and the effect looks amazing. I wish the light was a bit stronger, but if you place it in the darker place, the light is just enough. I think the effect is good. I wish, however, that this fire was a bit uh, longer, a bit bigger, so that it, it will look like he's really flying. Uh, like this, it just looks like he's taking off, still on the ground, but anyway, looks quite good as it is. So here is our Rocketeer from Black Box Studios. I think is a quite a nice release, quite different from what we are used to. Are you going to get one for you? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. I will see you in the next one.